Hey, what up? It's Brad with Home Love Construction. And in this video, I wanna answer a question that we actually get asked quite a bit, and it's why won't my contractor let me supply my own materials and just do the labor on my project? Well, there's actually a very simple explanation to this, and it really comes down to levels of responsibility. See, a, a contractor, in a lot of cases, when they come in and they're doing a major renovation, they take responsibility for the whole thing because they know that if they don't proactively take responsibility for the whole thing, they're going to be asked to at some point. So they just come into it saying, look, if things go south, this client is gonna want me to take responsibility for their project anyways, so why don't I just do that from the beginning? That's our mindset at Home Love Construction is, let's take responsibility for the whole thing, put it into our hands so we can make sure that it goes right and not ask the client to do things that's outside of their, really, they should be able to just kick back and have the project go and make a couple decisions and point to things and say this there and this there and have it be done and almost appear almost magically. So in order to do that, we have to be responsible for a couple different things. So the things that we have to be responsible for include a couple of the major pieces, cabinets, countertops, uh, the subcontractors who, who come in and do the rough trades, those are all things that, you know, the, the flooring materials, those are all things that we have to be responsible for. And the reason is, if we put that responsibility on you to go and get those things, maybe it saves you a little bit of money. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Maybe it costs a little less. Maybe you save, you know, 500 bucks not having us supply the floor materials because that would be our markup on the flooring material. But now, if we're short on flooring, if it's the wrong flooring, if it comes in damaged, if it comes uh, in mal malformed, like the tile is warped or something like that, now that's your responsibility. You have to take care of the fix for that versus us taking care of it. So is, is it really worth your time to spend? And by the way, those fixes might seem like, oh, I'll just go and take it back. Yeah, but what if they give you a hard time about returning it and not making you buy another box? Like what if you bought it from a place where they don't accept returns? Like what if it's a sign on delivery thing and you sign and then you take it back and they say, well, you signed, so now you have to buy more. There's a lot of stuff that can go into that. And if you talk about cabinets or countertops, oh my gosh. I mean, it, it can be a nightmare of, they didn't send the right trim, they sent the wrong touch-up kit, they've got, uh, we're missing glass doors, we're missing the doors, but we've got the glass. There can be a ton of different things that can go sideways, and if you're not well-versed in exactly what things are called, exactly where to get them, exactly how they should come in and how they need to go together, it can cause a lot of problems in the timeline especially. And the other thing is, it becomes a pain in the rear end for you, right? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to curse less, so I said rear end. So it becomes a, a pain point for you to take care of those things where it's really our job to take care of those things. So my ask to you would be, why not just let your contractor take care of those things for you? You know, we live on an economic planet, so obviously there's gonna be some cost to that. But is, is the small cost of the margin on those items is that really worth you having to now be responsible and spend, I mean, I, I know somebody who provided, they had a contractor come in and, and do their install, but they provided their own cabinets. They have spent 20 to 25 hours on the phone with the cabinet supplier, making sure that, that all the pieces that got missed on the original order all came in. And this is someone who makes a lot, of, this is someone who makes like 250K a year. So I don't know what exactly that works out to a week, but they definitely are losing money based on what they would have paid the contractor to supply it versus the time they've spent on actually spending their time there. And obviously maybe that's a blown out of proportion example. You know, maybe you're, you know, you make 100K, but do the math on how much you make. Maybe we can actually do this math real quick here. Like what is your time actually worth? Because that's a part of this discussion is if you're at $100,000 per year, and let's say you know you work 50 weeks a year because you get two weeks of paid time off. Uh, you work your 2,000, 100, wait a minute, 100,000 divided by 50. Is that what that comes to? Oh yeah, 2K a week divided by 40. So $50 an hour is what your time is worth, right? And I'm just doing simple math on my phone here. So $50 an hour, if you wind up even spending uh, let's say 15 hours on the phone, that's 750 bucks. So if you spend 15 hours between having to order it, go and get it, get it delivered to your home, make sure that it's right. If all of that stuff is, is more than 15 hours, which by the way, if it's your first time doing it, it will definitely be 15 hours or more. 
why not just pay to have someone else handle it that same amount and save your time since that's what your time is worth anyways. So all that to say, it's a contractor's responsibility to make sure that stuff comes in right, it's installed correctly, and that it's warranted properly. If any one of those is interrupted, like on the ordering to the receiving, you know, all the way through the chain of actually getting it installed in your house, the end product of, of the proper warranty has to go out the window because if the contractor hasn't been involved in the step every, every way all the way through, they can't possibly warranty something that someone else ordered and provided it and did all the pre-work for. It just wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't be fair to the contractor. So that's the way that our stuff is written is that things that we provide and install, we warranty those things. But things that we only installed, only the install is warranty, not the actual material. So. That's an important point to realize is that it, it, when a contractor takes full responsibility for something, they take full responsibility for it. But you can't ask them to take full responsibility if you're not going to let them take full responsibility. So I know we're saying the word responsibility a lot here. The bottom line is it's going to be the easiest for you and it's going to be the less uh, heartburn for you and your family. And by heartburn, I mean, you know, like the, the frustration of, oh, they didn't, the cabinet people still didn't send that piece of toe kick that we need, blah, blah, blah. You know, all these different things that can come up. Let your contractor take care of that. You know, don't, don't worry about the 500 bucks he's going to charge you to, to go and buy the floor for you. You know, let him take care of it. Let him deal with floor and decor or pro source if it comes in damaged. Let them take care of it. Enjoy your life because frankly, you've got bigger things to worry about. So that said, that is both a combination to why your contractor won't let you supply your own materials and why it's actually in your best interest that they not do so because then they can be fully responsible for it. It's nice that people are responsible in your life. So that said, I do appreciate you watching. I hope this brought some value and actually answered the question for you. Uh, if you have other questions about renovations, please send an email to homeloveconstruction at gmail.com and we'll be happy to make a video answering your specific question. If you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube and like us on Facebook, we're Home Love Construction at both of those places. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video and I appreciate you. Peace.